Times Square and the Statue of Liberty. What do these birds remind you of? If you said the United States, then you guessed where our guest is from. Amy Hume is our guest for this week and if you're ready, let's go and let's discover Amy's journey from America to Ankara. I'm so happy to have you here. You've been here for eight years, so how did this journey start? Thank you for having me, Tuche. <laughs> Uh, so I started a music project in Uganda uh -huh. called End of the Week uh, about 10 years ago. And so I decided to move to Turkey to be closer to Africa. But that's your second city in Turkey, right? You first lived in Istanbul. Yes, I Ankara. was in Istanbul for three years. <laughs> you are from United States, but you were born in Africa, right? So are you used to change cities and countries? Yes, I was born in South Africa, uh -huh. uh, but I didn't live there very long. But in the United States, I moved every year for probably the first 25 years of my life. So I'm quite adaptable to any country, anywhere, <laughs> yes. And um, what was the biggest difficulty during this process? Coming to Turkey? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, definitely the language, <laughs> I think. Um, Istanbul was similar to New York. Uh -huh. uh, it's chaotic and crazy and, you know, surrounded by waterways. Uh -huh. So environmentally, it was quite easy, but just culturally, it took me some time to to find my feet and understand how Turks work. <laughs> and what were you expecting before coming here and what did you find? I had been to Antalya and Istanbul mm -hmm. a long before time ago, here. before I moved here. Uh -huh. uh, so I knew the country, I loved the food, the people were very friendly, <laughs> you know, Turkish hospitality. Mm -hmm. um, so my expectations were quite low. I just came for an adventure. Uh -huh. And in Turkish culture, you know, there are lots of rituals. For example, fortune telling uh, from the Turkish coffee ritual. How was your experience? As I mean, I'm asking the cultural experience. Um, actually, the fortune telling out of the coffee <laughs> is one of my favorite parts of Turkey. Um, but rituals, I think, again, it comes to hospitality. I'm uh -huh. amazed at how nice people are when you go to their home. They serve you a full, like, eight-course uh -huh. meal. <laughs> Um, there's coffee and tea if you go to the bank, they offer you coffee. Is Turkish hospitality a legend or is it real, <laughs> according to your experience? It's a little bit of both, um, but no, I think it's very real, uh -huh. absolutely. So what caused that cultural shock on you, I mean, when you first came here? I think uh, driving. <laughs> I, I had to learn how to drive in but Turkey. But America is crowded, I mean... It's very crowded, but people f stay in their lanes. If there's three <laughs> lanes on the highway, the people stay in those lanes. Where in Turkey, if it's a three-lane highway, there's five <laughs> lanes of traffic of cars. And I want to talk about wedding ceremonies. If you want to look at culture, I, I think the wedding ceremonies are really important. Have you ever been in a Turkish wedding ceremony? Many, many weddings. So what are some major differences when you compare with American weddings? Uh, the official wedding where they go, I think, to the courthouse, something like uh -huh, that, uh -huh. that's a little bit different than ours. Um, most weddings in the States are in churches, mm -hmm. you know, if someone is religious. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's the dancing is quite different, you know, where men and women dance separately here. Uh -huh. They do the halai or, you know, <laughs> what, whatever it is. Um, but in terms of, you know, what people wear and how people act, it's quite similar to mm -hmm. the States. Mm -hmm. You worked as a photographer in New York, right? Yes. So you came here and I know you travel a lot here in Turkey. So what are your favorite destinations? Definitely Cappadocia is really? one of my favorite because it's very different. Uh -huh. um, and I love earthy things in the environment. Uh -huh. um, I really love Istanbul, as crazy as it is. It's an amazing city. Mm -hmm. Um, the Black Sea is very unique as well. I love the weather. And the about the Turkish cuisine, <laughs> that's a deep subject, I know, but what do you think about Turkish cuisine? Because that's quite different from Americans, right? It is. Uh -huh. And when we eat Turkish cuisine in America, it's usually labeled as Middle Eastern. Hmm. Um, so, you know, we kind of, I'm used to that kind of food. Um, but the amount of olives and the different kinds of olives <laughs> I never knew existed. Um, but I've actually learned to make some food. Like, really? What, did you, what do you cook most? Uh, yesterday I made yayla çorbası, really? a yogurt oh my soup. God. <laughs> I make uh, yaprak sarmasa, stuffed grape leaves. Uh -huh. um, so I've, I've learned to sort of make the food. So what's your favorite dish? I mean, from Turkish cuisine. My favorite dish? That's a hard question, I know that. <laughs> I'm going to say çiğ köfte. Çiğ köfte, really? Yes. <laughs> 
your parents are living in Saudi Arabia and your sister is living in America. So do you feel homesick? I feel very much home here because I'm used to moving. Uh, home is sort of where I am at mm -hmm. the moment. I go back to the States maybe every two or three years and it's mm -hmm. nice to be there that you know, I can wear what I want to wear. I can speak <laughs> how I want to speak. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I make myself comfortable wherever I am. Do you feel like home here in Turkey? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's great. So, how do, peop uh, to how do Turkish people approach you? I mean, you seem like a foreigner, so what they <laughs> ask you most? I mean, you have uh, blonde, uh, nice looking hair, you have blue eyes. So, what do, you, what do they ask most? Uh, firstly, where am I from? And uh -huh. secondly, am I married? <laughs> really? <laughs> Always, everyone, yes. <laughs> And what kind of an approach they have towards you? Uh, some people just kind of stare, you know, on the metro or the Dolmish. They look uh -huh. at me like I'm, I have three heads, you know, <laughs> like I really am a foreigner. They wonder sort of about the outside world. You know, many Turkish people have been outside, they watch TV. Mm -hmm. um, Hollywood is a big influence here, which I was very yeah. surprised about. Do they about. ask you once about Hollywood? Or? They do, because uh -huh. if people have never been out of Turkey, and they especially are interested in America, they think it's like Hollywood oh, or like TV series. And so an I, American dream, right? Right. Still there is. Um, but all in all, everybody's been very friendly. They're uh -huh. curious about me. And, you know, they, my Turkish is terrible. So people try and speak Turkish English. Is really? Good. really? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, but people try and speak what little English they uh -huh. have, even if it's broken. <laughs> and let's do some gossip then. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about Turkish people's English? Maybe if I would, I would want you to make a general consideration about the way they talk. It's a very special kind of English, <laughs> and it's called Turkish English. And my English has actually changed a bit. Really? Because what, how be did it change? Uh, because I have to, I simplify a bit, uh -huh. um, but I've also picked up, you know, like, tamam. I say tamam all the really? time. So when I go back to the States, I say tamam. Now we have a little quiz part if you want to. Absolutely. There. Okay, let's go to that quiz part. <laughs> There are some words which are some cities from America and also Turkey and are, there are some celebrities from America and Turkey. If you want, I can start. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Mm. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's American actress and she's known by bus stop, um, gentle, gentlemen prefer blondes, that kind of movie. Marilyn Monroe. Yay, of course. Okay, your turn. This is a city in Southern California, and there's a very famous popular series that takes place there. What is it? It's the name about of it? housewives. Uh, uh, there's a murder. Big Little Lies. So yes. Montreal. Yes. Very <laughs> good. Okay, let me mix it. Mm. Hmm. Um, she has a talk show, like for a million years in America. She has uh, short hair and she's super funny. Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> Love Ellen. <laughs> Everybody loves Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> she's a famous Turkish singer. Um, Bl any clues? Blonde hair. She's old. <laughs> no, that's rude. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's older. She's been around for a long time. Ajda Pekka. Yes. Yay. Very good. <laughs> okay, I'm it. Hmm. Uh, he's a uh, director. He's a famous director from America. Uh, his movies are Kill Bill, Pulp Fiction. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> okay, this is a very famous movie. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've seen in your film class. It's older. Um, it, it's about a woman. If I tell you who's in it, you're going <laughs> to guess it right away. Um, she dresses up and there's a famous jewelry store in New York. In, in New York. In particular. Yes. And she, Maybe Audrey Hepburn? Yes. Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yes. Very good. That's a city in Turkey. Um, it, this city is known by kebab. Adana. You know that. Oh my God. That's <laughs> impressive. Or Fuzz, the next guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. She's Turkey's sweetheart. Um, everyone loves her very much. She's a musician. Hmm. Uh, she's been around for some time. Um, she's 
a bit of an activist as well, political activist, mm. animal activist, humanitarian. Um, Any songs of her? Do you know? E, no. She has long red hair. Long red hair. John the Very Nighting beautiful. Thing? Nope. Um, red hair, red hair. Any she, I'm trying to think of the last <laughs> song that she did. Um, her name starts with an S. S. Um, what kind of music is she doing? Pop, like pop Turkish music. pop. Um, For decades, two decades maybe. Huh. Did she represent us at Eurovision? I think she did. Yes. 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 Very good. <laughs> that was tough. That was really. That was because I couldn't was explain it. No. <laughs> and that's very difficult. Okay. Okay. He's a Turkish arabesque singer. He Ibrahim Tatlıses. He passed away before three or four years. I'm not sure about today. But lastly, they made a biography movie uh, of his life. So. He has uh, black hair and... Is it Tatlisis? Ibrahim? No. no, he's <laughs> no. the only one I know. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, he is, that's right. <laughs> I'm not sure, do you know him? It starts with M. I have the pic, I know yeah. his face with his name. Okay, Muslim Gurses. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they made a movie of his life. Yes. I know. Okay. Mustache, they all have mustaches. Yeah. <laughs> In this part, there are some Ottoman and Turkish objects, so Amy will try to guess what are they. Okay, are you ready? I am. <laughs> okay, I'm giving that one, the first one. <laughs> Just try to guess uh, It's that. a coffee. Oh, coffee pop, yeah. The coffee <laughs> thing, <laughs> Tur yeah. Tur Turkish coffee. <laughs> okay, that was the easiest one. You got one, okay. Are you ready for the second one? Yes. Okay, I'm giving that. Uh, Nazar Bonjou. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Congratulations. And um, evil eye. Sorry, English. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nazar Bonjou is okay. And what is it? A basket? No. Nope. Right. A fez. Oh my god. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Just well. <laughs> I thought you. Can I wear this for the rest of the show? Yeah, <laughs> you can. Here, you get it. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> How does it look? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And are you ready for the other one? Yeah. That's the easiest Test one. Test me, <laughs> prayer beads. <laughs> okay. You're really a part of the Turkish culture now. <laughs> okay, and the second one is staying there. Just touch it here. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> for belly dancers, tambourine. Yeah. Just bow. <laughs> Just bow. You can open your eyes. And that's over. Hope you enjoyed it, but I thought you cannot know all that you did well. <laughs> it's I do. <laughs> and I'm back. Um, I wouldn't. I didn't know this was Turkish, but yeah, of yeah. course it is for the belly dancers. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah I, you these did things, well. I know. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. That was really funny. It was. It was great fun. Thank you. You did well. Thank you. Turkish culture is a part of your life, I think. It is. <laughs> And um, I, I have a cliche question that I ask to all of my guests. So if Turkey were a movie genre, what would it be? Drama. <laughs> why, why do you think so? Um, Turkish people are sort of very dramatic about small issues, um, which is entertaining. Um, but um, I think, yes, they're just with traffic, with driving, with uh, boyfriends and girlfriends, relationships, <laughs> uh, with food, with any sort of situation. Um, drama is a part of it, and it's not not like heavy drama, yeah. but but yeah, definitely drama. <laughs> that was very sweet. Thank you for taking your time. That was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for having me very much. Thank you for joining us. Please leave your comments below, and see you for the next episode. Bye.